I think that Lux is one of those champions that no matter how much time you spend in the game with her, you will never be bored. Each one shot gives a lot of satisfaction, and today's episode is all about it. Let's hop in with Ilali's 1v2 play where we have some little Lucent Singularity miss, or everything was planned to let enemies know that he's a newbie on Lux. <laughs> Enemy Volibear is the only reason why this game is still in existence. He's 6 to 2, and anyone from the blue side doesn't have any chances in a 1v1 battle, or there is only one chance, but some of them must be fast enough to instantly one shot him. We all know how Danarus can be as fast as Lux. Can I even kill this guy? <laughs> Elie Frosty gets heavily surrounded from each side. Lux is very squishy, and in a 3v1 situation, you need like some miracle to survive. I'm not even counting taking them down, but this might be one of the most unexpected moments for enemies. Let's take a short break from one-shots because there are the second most satisfying plays, but with great predictions, and these two guys deserve a huge applause for how well they understand every champion and can calculate enemies' moves. Mohammed had one of those disgusting Zed players who sneak in the jungle and wait until they find their victim. However, he was well prepared for that fight, and in the next game, he used the same tactic to find another Zed, not letting him even leave his base. O1 item completed and 11 stacks on Mage Eyes is enough to be target number 1. Now enemies have a great opportunity to finally get rid of Lux because she has nowhere to escape. However, it might not be as easy as it looks if she's in good hands. Huh. Hey! I'll 
This time, we have a huge 4v5 teamfight where the enemies are slowly taking control. Keep an eye on the enemy's backline because Kennen wants to deep dive with his ultimate to finish everyone from the blue side. However, Yozu catches him before he gets into the middle of teammates. Give me the penta! No! Nykaris is making a very risky move. After taking the Nashor buff, everyone went back to base and reset. He decided to take one more wave on the mid lane. He didn't expect that Chin would be there too. Even if he is two levels behind, we know how broken his damage is, but I guess everything was calculated again. Será mejor que comiences a rezar. I've made about 50 videos with Lux in my life, and I feel like every episode has one of those classic plays with Lee Sin. After many years, they are still making the same mistake, underestimating the Lux player who can easily flash out while they are marked by his Q. He doesn't know I'm Chico! Bro! I win every time those matchups, I'm telling you! I can't even imagine a better moment for a comeback like the red side has now. They just wiped almost everyone from the blue team, and they instantly went to take the elder buff. Even if they are far behind, Karthus with this buff can carry the whole team, and this guy is the last hope to save the game. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to send me your clips using the link in the description. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.